Thomas with me from AFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're down in Edinburgh, just witnessed a, a grueling pairing around war between Brian Forsyth and Bruce Pagan. Joined by Valley Disciplined Brian Forsyth. How are you doing? I'm alright, I'm uh, can say I'm badly disappointed. I thought I'd won that fight and half. I pushed, forced every round. Every round I felt that I was in control. Um, the shots he got through me was, a, was nothing really. Um, catching his shots, left hooks and stuff, catching all the shots. Um, I feel as though I'd done enough to win the fight. I don't know what the referee was scoring or what, what he was looking at, but for me, he, he was punching and running and had an own. There was nothing where I could have done. The referee awarded in 96, 95 in favour of Pagan. So that <laughs> says one of, one of the rounds he must have given a share. Uh, during the fight, do you feel that you were ahead comfortably or did you, not, did you think it was a close fight? To be fair, I, I think I won the first three rounds um, and I won the last three. So there's six rounds to me. Four rounds, one's a draw. What more can you score? What do you think of East tonight? Was, was it, it, was, it, was it was tougher than what I expected, to be honest, for him being out the ring longer than, than uh, for that amount of time. But he turned around and says to me, there he's fought, everybody's came to the rankings. Um, but I was, I was the toughest fight he's had. I said the same, actually. I was speaking to him just a few minutes ago, and with, he said the self, he's been in some tough, tough fights with the late Mike Powell and the um, Ireland's Alfredo Melli, but he says that those 10 rounds are the toughest 10 rounds he's experienced. Do you take any sort of? Uh... The, the only thing I take, the only thing I take for that time is uh, I've, I've went for four rounds up to six, up to ten rounds. I've never had any in between. I've never had nothing. I've went straight for the bottom, right up to the top, and there's nothing I can take away from myself for doing that. People have told me for the start that I couldn't do it, and I've always had people on my back telling me that I couldn't do it, and I've proved to myself that I can do it. But for me, the night was a my swan song. Whether win, lose, or draw, that's me done. Is you done? Done. I've had enough. Um, I've got carrying two injuries, I've not told anybody about. To be fair, before Christmas I was finished um, and I got the title fight with Mo Mohammed, but um, that got pulled and then this one got done. Um, so, no, that's me, that's me done now, I've, I've had enough. I've got a young family and I want to look after them. Mm. So a rematch isn't something you're thinking about? No, 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 I've just started a new job, I'm a depot manager. Um, this fight, obviously, I've been training. I started a new job at Christmas, but I've been training for this. Um, I've been in camp and stuff, and I've not really had my chance to get my head ruined it. So, I mean, I want to get my head ruined, ruined the new job, and so I'm going to take some time out and get into the new job. I'm going to keep my hand in the gym and hopefully maybe train along with the youngsters. Was this a decision you'd already made before you stepped into the ring tonight, or was it based this, on the outcome? Is, no, this has, been a, this has been a decision that's been coming for a while. Um, but obviously, the back-to-back title fights, um, this is what, this is, this is the inevitable now. And that there has just pushed me even further over the edge, and I, I'm, I've got the injuries that I'm going to heal because they're in my elbows. Um, and tonight, I went in the ring and carried them over. Um, didn't look hard, didn't feel hard, didn't feel anything. And came away with, with, a, with a robbery. Every everybody in that holds we are winning. It's disappointing me to bring a calm down, but at the same time, I don't want to use the word disappointing because I feel like I've just witnessed one of the best fights I've seen this year. And Didn't get me wrong, it's been bombed as a fight of the year. And to be fair, it was it was a really, really good fight. He said that to me after it. He says, You've had a. Uh, he says that, uh, that was really tough. He says that's the toughest fight I've had. Didn't get me wrong, he caught me with a few body shots that were good body shots. Um, but I never, I never looked hurt, I never felt hurt, nothing. So I feel fine. Just switch my attention back to the, to the fight. You, you, you say yourself that was the first thing you've done 10 rounds. How do you feel making a jump? It's, it's a hell of a jump going from 4 rounds to 10. It's a hell of a jump from 4, from 4 to 10. But I mean, I've trained for 10 rounds. Um, I've, I've done the 10 rounds and I feel as though that I, I've done that comfortably. He was blowing at the end of that, every round blowing. I was, I was fine. Started off every round with, in the tank, ready to go again. Pushing, pushing for the belt. What, sorry? I was pushing for the belt, pushing for the off, for the belt, every round. Did you feel that, did you think at any point in the last few rounds that he was about to... The last, two, the last three rounds he was over, he was gone. He, you seen him in the third line, the third last round, pulling, to call him into the ropes because he couldn't go any further. Couldn't do anything. So, I'll be definitely calling a cut. 
going to Carton doing, or are we going to give it a few days and uh, let the disappointment? As I, as I say, this has been a decision that's been looming for a while. Um, one lose or draw the night, that was me calling it a day anyway. Um, I've got a young family, I'm not getting any younger myself, and I want to spend some time with them. For the last five years, I've hardly seen any of them because I've been training constantly. And then it got harder when I turned pro. It's the only thing I can say is it's a lost to boxing. I've been there, been there every fight since he turned pro, and um, I remember. Speaking. Didn't get me, didn't get me wrong. I've got better and better with every fight, but no, um, it's, it's time now. It's, it's time. I didn't feel as though my heart's in it. My heart's not been in it for a while, mm. but I've still fought on Aye. and fought on to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. So no. It's time for me to look after my There's one, one thing I remember speaking to Terry a while back, I'm sure he won't mind me saying it, but we were just discussing all the different boxers that are in lock end, and then we were talking about you. And he just said that you've got a belly, and he just says that you're as tough as old boots, so he's yeah, you just, there's no quite in you. No, there's no, and, and you can see that in me tonight, no matter what I got hit with, I got hit with a heat bump. It's bursting inside of my mouth, that's where the list's coming from. Um, my, my hole inside of my mouth, so I've lost open. Um, and I, and I kept on going, and that was in the fourth round. I've no go quit, mm. but I'm quitting for my family, for the sake of my family. Mm -hmm. I want to spend some time, and I've got a beautiful daughter, she's coming up for two, and I've hardly seen her. Yep. I see her for another night, so now it's time. Well, Brian, if this is the last time I see you in the ring, you put in a tremendous performance. Thanks very much. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Brian, cheers, thanks very much for your time.